And right now, there's something we talked about Friday, and a lot of y'all was up here Friday. We had our man E Man come up That's here. Right. And we talked about are they going to release new mutants directly to Disney Plus? E Man told me no. Larry was on the fence about it, and I said they have to release it. Yeah, because. What are you going to do? Ain't nobody going to no movies this year. you got to release something. They've already said they're pushing back Black Widow. There was a leak in Australia. And I want you guys to take a good look at what was on the end of this New Mutants leak. We have a Disney Plus trailer for New Mutants that seems like it's trying to claim that they're going to be releasing the movie on Disney Plus. So I'll try to explain what's going on because this was floating around social media this morning. Everyone was freaking out trying to figure out what was going on. But just starting at the beginning here, if you don't know what's going on, a Disney Plus user in Australia recently recorded this New Mutants trailer that they claim was playing on Disney Plus in Australia with some new scenes and new release date information seemingly announcing New Mutants would be coming to Disney Plus Friday, September 4th. This is that version of the trailer and the footage is kind of janky because they captured it with their phone on their TV, but you get the idea. All of you are dangerous. That's why you're here. Do you know where mutants are? Hey, hello. This isn't it's a cage. Well, it's your power. Oh my god. Together, if we can get out of this. The new mutants. That was so hot. So everyone saw this floating around social this morning and wondered if it was real. Is it fake? Did some fan create this and then post it to Reddit or something like that? Right after this posted, a couple of websites came out claiming that Disney told them that it's fake. But Disney and Disney people have been known to lie about stuff like this in the past. Everybody remember right after Avengers Infinity War when people wondered what the title for Avengers Endgame was going to be. The Russos did a really big interview where they said, No, the title of Avengers 4 has never been said out loud or spoken in any previous Marvel movies before. Cue the clips. We're in the end game now. We're the Avengers. We can bust arms dealers all the live long day, but that up there, that's, that's the end game. Thought we wouldn't notice, but we did. So clearly you have to take all those statements with a grain of salt. The I think everyone for the most part has just been calling for new mutants specifically to go video on demand months ago when the whole quarantine lockdown started and theaters were initially closed. Originally, the movie was supposed to come out in March, right at the beginning of the lockdown period. It almost, it almost creeped in under the wire, but not quite. The movie is totally cursed. Six different release dates at this point, I think. Everyone post all your Avengers memes. You thought we wouldn't see you trying to sneak by and get yourself released in a movie theater in New Mutants, but we did. We did notice. Disney's actually already done this with one of their bigger movies this year. If you didn't watch it or you missed that big announcement, it was Artemis Fowl. But the reason why Disney did that with such a big budget movie is mostly because they thought that it would be a box office bomb because it got bad early reviews. And then once it actually came out on Disney+, Plus, it of course got very bad reviews from everyone else. Here's the difference <laughs> with New Mutants though. Kevin Feige reportedly was very happy with the version of the movie that they had edited last year. The director Josh Boone claimed that after they finished the most recent cut and Disney officially took over the release, Kevin Feige and the Disney people didn't ask him to make any big changes to the movie. So it sounds like the movie is solid for what it is. And just to be clear, it was always meant to be a smaller Marvel horror movie with X-Men characters set in that universe. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, me and Larry have told y'all several times, studios, producers, they will lie to your face. They yeah. will they will definitely lie to your face because they don't want to save face. And that right. trailer, that that was not a fan-made trailer. He just took his camera, recorded the TV, and clearly they said that thing is dropping in September. And maybe they don't, they might not allow it to drop September in America, but it's clearly dropping in Australia in September. Just oh, there is no there is no such thing as not dropping in America. When you drop it anywhere in the world, it's dropped. Period. Because once it hits BitTorrent, it's done. It's like as soon as you okay. drop it in Australia, okay. it's mm -hmm. it's gonna be up. Like if you drop it in Australia at at nine a.m. and that movie's mm -hmm. two hours long, at eleven a.m. it's gonna be posted 
all over the world. So you might okay. as well go ahead and just drop it everywhere. That's true. And having said those things, having seen that, Larry, are we going to see this thing on Disney Plus? Yeah, we're going to see it on Disney Plus. I'll tell you that I think one of the reasons why we're seeing it on Disney Plus, and I'm, and at this point, I think we might actually see Black Widow too. Is that the way things are going right now? It looks like we're going to be on a extended quarantine for like the rest of the year and probably going into early next year, we might, we might get a, a, um, a vaccine maybe in the first quarter of next year, but we're going to be in a, we're going to be in an extended quarantine. Once we get into the, once we get into the, the fall and winter season, when it gets cold, we're not going to get as much pushback from people out there about not going out and not doing stuff because people more naturally stay at home anyway. So once the summer season is over, we're not going to get all that pushback and it's going to be a lot easier for people to stay at home. And we're going to need to, because we're still in the midst of a pandemic. And I think with that, these, these, you know, once we get about, I think once we get around September and all the theater companies, theater companies are running out of money completely. And I, and when they've gone and hit up all of their, their VC people and all, not their VC people, cause they're, they're not, they're established. But once we hit up, once they hit up all their, their lenders, whatever banks and whoever else, and they realize they have completely run out of money. I mm -hmm. think then Disney and universal, I think we're going to see a lot of movies that were slated for the theaters come out. We're going to see, we're going to see stuff like, um, you know, New Mutants, which is coming out in September. We're going to see probably uh, Black Widow come out probably around Christmas time. We're going to see what's his name's movie Tenet probably come out around Christmas time. We're going to see a lot of movies come out, you know, because mm -hmm. no one's going anywhere. You know, we're going to and, and and if people don't stay at home, if people keep doing like they're doing throughout the rest of the summer, we could potentially see a complete lockdown where they literally have to shut down entire states. So. I mean, as we see Trump is doing, Trump is finally acknowledging we have a real problem. And we see Trump is like, he's not he's not afraid to go and completely disregard our civil rights. I mean, he's sending troops in to, to Washington and, and into, well, both Washington. He sent troops to Washington, D.C., sending troops out to Washington State, sending troops out to, to Illinois. I mean, when you're doing all that, I mean, he, if he finally acknowledges, yeah, we have a real problem, we have to lock some stuff down, he he may actually seriously lock stuff down. And mm -hmm. just, I know we don't talk about politics on this show much anymore, but I have to just bring one thing up. Where mm -hmm. are all the Republicans out there that are always, always screaming about states' rights? Where in the <laughs> hell are they? When you have federal troops being called in against the wishes of the governors and mayors of these of these states, where in the hell are the Republicans out there screaming about states' rights? Come on, man. Y'all are full of crap. You are a bunch of bullshittery hypocrites. All right, back to Marvel. Well, I mean, <laughs> uh, well, you know, you know, I got to get a point in. And Larry, they have always done that. Those are the same MFers that be, used to run around here called liberal snowflakes that now they they can't put on a damn mask because they talking about they can't breathe and shit. Oh, they can't breathe with the mask with fucking snowflakes. Yeah. If you want this economy yeah. to roll, if you want to get this thing moving again, wear the mask, wash your hands, stay your broke ass home. That's I it. I can tell you right now, man, That's when it. winter time comes and I see people out there wearing their Bella Clavas and they, or two years from now when I go skiing and see people wearing their Bella, I'm going to run. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to snowboard right past them and pull their damn mask down and be like, stop wearing that crap. Come you know on. you weren't wearing that during COVID, yeah, you know? Man. Freeze right. your face off. Yeah, you know? man. <laughs> this, 